I'm happy to be here. This, we, we have expansions breaking out all over South Carolina. It's changing lives. And it's, uh, it's a very happy day uh, to, to be here with, with all of these these folks. I, I got to say, I know it, it is a little cold and we want to hurry. But so <clears throat> as uh, they say, that famous actress Elizabeth Taylor said to her sixth husband, I won't keep you long. <laughs> Let me tell you a few things about South Carolina that you might not have heard. I, I get the opportunity to talk to a lot of people and see a lot of things in the various positions I've been in. And I've asked this question, as they, as they say in the in the Senate, Senator Williams, I've heard him say, did you know? Did you know? And then they go on and make a statement. They really ain't asking a question. <laughs> in the Senate. But did you know that in Clemson, at the, the University up there, they have a manufacturing center, advanced manufacturing center, and in that, they have, who, who is there? They have PhDs, professors, they have PhD candidates, they have graduate students, they have undergraduate students, and they have high school students working together, shoulder to shoulder, working on parts and frames of BMWs right now that are sent over there to invent new things so that the BMW plant there can incorporate them in their cars without having to slow down their lines and invent them themselves. Now, you know how many places that's going on in the United States today? One in South Carolina. We have an inland port being built here. This is the second of two in South Carolina. The other was a few years ago. It is in Greer, South Carolina. Do you know how many states have an inland port? I think they're one or two and they're short line and they carry only certain things. We have one, and we're getting ready to have two. We're way at the top. Did you know that Oliver Wendell Holmes, years ago, as a justice on the U.S. Supreme Court, was asked the question by a young lawyer, said, Mr. Justice, I, I don't think, I, I want to be a lawyer, but I just don't think there's room, because there's just so many lawyers out there. The competition is so stiff. And the justice says, son, there's plenty of room at the top. There's always room at the top. And that's where South Carolina is going. Did you know that BMW, you know, their biggest plant in the world is in Greer, South Carolina, where that inland port is. Do you know how many vehicles they produce? BMW in Greer, South Carolina, produces one vehicle every 61.7 seconds. We got so much stuff going on, it's hard to believe. And we just broke some, uh, set a, a new paradigm education, economic development, and progress. And that is with Samsung coming to Newberry, one of the biggest companies in the world, is coming to Newberry. They've already opened up the plant. They'll be producing washing machines starting in just a few days. They have partnered with the University of South Carolina and Clemson University. Those are magnificent research universities. They're partnering together to take us through innovation, high technology, sophisticated mechanics and tools and inventions into the next century. That's not happening anywhere else in the country. And then here we have right here another part of that great that great expansion and great progress and great prosperity, and that's with the Harbor Freight. There's not a better company in the whole world than Harbor Freight. And I got to say, I, I was telling Mr. Muchnick, I have Alan Muchnick, that I have spent a lot of money at Harbor Freight. He, he uh, corrected me and said, actually, I've saved a lot of money <laughs> at Harbor Freight. And I'm going to keep on doing that, too. Y'all, this is a great thing for our state. It's particularly a great thing for this area of the state. These companies come here, all I've talked to say that South Carolina is a handshake state. What is a handshake state? The chairman of BMW said it is a place it is the only place he said he's been where when somebody gives you their word, whether it's a worker, whether it's somebody trying to spur economic development, county, the city level, the state level, the contractors, when somebody gives you their word in South Carolina, they keep it. And that's why the people tell me they're coming to South Carolina. So we appreciate Harbor Freight's commitment to South Carolina. It is enormously important in their example will spur others to be here, to grow here, to come here, to invest. And ladies and gentlemen, when the economic growth is taking place and prosperity is awash all over us, 
lot of problems disappear. A lot of drug problems disappear, family problems disappear, education gets better, the opioids go down, marriages go up, divorces go down, domestic violence goes down. I've seen it all myself and you maybe have too. So that's what we're doing today. We're making South Carolina even a better, stronger place to live, work, and raise your family. And we are most appreciative of the confidence that Harbor Freight has put in us, and we are proud of this expansion. And as that great philosopher, Tim McGraw, also known as a country western fan, once said, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it, and we're looking forward to it. And thank you. Here is a present to you from and your company, Harbor Freight, from the almost five million happy citizens of South Carolina. It is a glass, uh, a, a, a brass decorative plate inscribed with our state seal and the words, while I dream, I hope, and we've been dreaming, and we're hoping, and now we're happy. <laughs>